Hello everyone and today we are going to see a topic that is quite different from physics namely that I would like to explain the latex software and in particular the intelligent latex editor. I have recently posted in my Facebook page regarding this particular software. I have developed this for this particular software uh, something like uh, five to seven years back and recently it has come to a good shape where we can use it practically. So the first step of this particular software is to use it for the purpose of making manuscripts for journal submission. This is a specific purpose. So many of you are already using Latex. You can use either in the Linux system or in the Microsoft Windows. And people are already familiar with the different uh, editors available. For example, in the case of the Linux, you can have the TechMaker or the Kyle in the KDE environment. Or they can also use the standard Emacs. Emacs editor is the standard editor, which is there for quite long time and is also quite popular one. So like this, there are uh, a variety of editors are available. So I have just listed one or two in this. Similarly, in the case of the Microsoft Windows, you can use once again the TechMaker or the Notepad++. It is not a standard Notepad. Okay, plus plus means it's another uh, third-party software, Notepad++. In addition, you can also use the so-called WinEdit. WinEdit software is also quite popular under the Microsoft Windows system. So these are the editors that are used to uh, typeset in Latex. By the way, Latex is a macro set which is written on the text system and the primary reason for this is to generate manuscripts that are mathematically intensive. So if, if you have a lot of documents containing more number of equations and uh, graphs and figures, then Latex is the preferred software when compared to other, other popular software such as Microsoft Word. Of course, Microsoft Word is uh, getting um, a little bit more popularity in recent days because of the improvement in the insertion of the equations. Okay, if you are having certain thing which doesn't have uh, more equations, then you can probably use co a completely different software away from LaTeX. But however, when, when mathematical equations are going to be there in your document, which means manuscript for example, or in your PhD thesis for that matter, then LaTeX is the preferred option for all of them. So that is the reason why we are here at the first place. The primary reason why I have made this particular intelligent LaTeX editor as a software is that I want to have a system or a LaTeX system that is comfortable for routine work <coughs> because those who are entering into a doctoral program or those who are in postdoc and further in research area, their primary duty is to keep on typesetting the research articles and then submit to the journals. And in the case of the master's students, they will have to make a, a master's degree report, the so-called project report. And for that reason, you need a technical document. So in general, when you are entering into a master's level program or even in the BTEC program also, you have the project. And in the project submission, you have to make a manuscript. That manuscript is going to have uh, several of the equations and then more number of graphs. So whenever you encountered a situation like this where you have to typeset a document then even though the standard facilities are available such as the standard editors the question is that whether it is comfortable or not how comfortable is to use one editor when compared to the other that is where the classification comes uh, or that is where the preference comes to picture uh, when one person says this is comfortable for me another person will say i am using a different one and if you ask what is the reason why people use different uh, uh, different editors, the primary reason lies in the comfortability. How comfortable you feel to, to make a document. So that is once again the same reason. I have made this particular software mainly because the existing editors are not so comfortable. 
we can use it but even after using for about 25 years i have been using the latex for uh, 25 years and more than that but even then using the standard editors uh, is somewhat difficult uh, certain things you'll have to keep on typing repeatedly especially the backslash okay backslash and the corresponding commands you know uh, for a beginner it may be very thrilling but if you are going to use it for several years uh, you'll have to keep on typing the same and the same uh, commands uh, several times okay when you are going to prepare manuscripts so therefore i i wanted to have a particular uh, style so that it would be easy for you to typeset the equations especially the equations inserting the graph these are some of the places where you have to use more of your commands so the primary reason is clearly spelt i have told you the reason that i want to have uh, an editor system or an integrated development environment so uh, we can say that it's an ide ide means integrated development environment which means that you don't have to go outside this particular window and you can use everything uh, to type set a document only thing is you have to create the graphs in the appropriate pdf format and keep it ready for inserting so inserting a graph is very simple absolutely simple it is a matter of only 10 seconds to insert a graph in the latex uh, document and i am going to show you now now in this particular uh, uh, video i would like to take a small walk through okay or a small demonstration how quickly you can create a document a research article document means uh, always i am referring to the research article which you are planning to submit to a particular journal okay so we will see how quickly we can do so let me therefore explain let me go to the screen and explain and here if you are going to enter into the google and then type the intelligent latex editor uh, you will get this result and you can download the intelligent latex editor here the first result itself shows but here you have to remember that in this particular uh, thing you have to type in the google and search you will get this and once you enter this you can now have the download link and you have the this is the place where you can download it is roughly 1.5 gb of course that uh, that number will change if i am going to update it so approximate value 1.5 gb and the reason why it is so big when compared to the standard miktek miktek is very standard in the microsoft windows the reason why this is bigger is that uh, this particular package that means along with the intelligent latex editor i have included all the latex packages which are optional usually what happens is the usual latex distribution is such that they will give you a minimal minimal working version and as and when you require you download on the fly so so that you can keep things to a minimum that is the reason why many of the software distributions or the latex will be somewhat smaller in size smaller in size means uh, anything less than 300 MB that's a typical number you can see but this is 1.5 GB the reason is I have downloaded and then uh, included all the packages LaTeX packages that are required for the journal type setting including the journal formats for example Springer format it's already there you don't have to download Elsevier format already included physical review RevTech RevTech is the popular package for American Physical Society so that is also included so basically whether it is a springer journal or the all or the elsevier standard format or the iop format or the american institute of physics all of these formats are already downloaded and included that means this particular distribution contains everything and in general there is no need to download anything okay if at all you want to download then you are going to do uh, something uh, deviating from the standard re requirement okay so for the standard procedures for creating a document and submitting to uh, typically many of the journals what is included here is quite enough you don't have to download anything that is the reason why it is a little bit bigger so one time you download and that's it it's over and installation time can take anywhere from 15 minutes so it takes time because uh, large number of files are there so the, once you finish this downloading and installation it will ask you for uh, key okay so id number and key that is shown here so here is the id and key of course this software itself is developed by me so i have uh, kept this id and key for uh, uh, for working so there is nothing secret here 
and therefore uh, i am just giving it and once you enter this the system will accept and then you are ready to use the system so let me now enter into the uh, editor itself and then demonstrate you remember now you demonstrate within 2 minutes after installation you will be able to generate one one manuscript on this instantly so we'll see how quickly we can do that is an advantage the primary reason is that is the one i i want to do the the typesetting job as quickly and as possible as well as it it has to be very comfortable i don't have to retype uh, every command from the scratch and then uh, takes lot of time okay so that is the point so let me therefore close this window and go to the uh, the editor window so i'll close this so now you can see the the intelligent latex editor window which has come up, which has come here so if you double click the icon after installation you will get this window so probably i will maximize this so i'll put the maximize so this is how the window will come when you uh, complete the uh, formality of entering the id and the key now very important thing let me tell you very important thing is you don't have the standard way of file and open so if you are going to try that uh, you will get bored uh, or you will feel that something is wrong okay that's why i am explaining now see here i am showing the standard win edit in the in the windows environment where you can see the file and open option usually you take any editor this option will be there file file open file new will be there but this option will not be there in our software that means in the case of the intelligent latex editor that is this one the file option and the file open option will not be there so uh, that is the place where the main distinction comes so i would like to explain that this particular software is going to work based on the folders folders means directories linux users know directories and uh, windows users will use you uh, will use the name folders so therefore you can see that the, the first thing you have to do is you have to click on project the meaning of project means it's a kind of well, if you are going to prepare one manuscript it's called one project if you are going to typeset a, an msc thesis it's another project that's all about it if you are going to typeset a phd thesis it is another project so one project means one work that's all about it so you can create a project means folder let it be in simple language if you are going to create one folder or one directory it is called one project and you don't have to worry about the files the files will be taken care by the system automatically system means intelligent latex editor system so let us jump into the action now so first job is that you may be already having certain a certain manuscript with you and you want to bring it into this so you cannot directly bring it i will i will tell you what is to be done first of all so first what you do is uh, you have to create a new manuscript project so you click click on this first one namely control n so uh, i have used it i have made this particular software in such a way that you can use this entirely using keyboard so mouse itself is not required for running this so uh, because if you are going to use the keyboard for all the things you can do certain things quickly instead of searching for the mouse coming all the way here and then click on project and then click here okay so you can simply type the control n so other things are there so i will not explain so click this what happens is you will be you will be asked where is your project located so because it is a creation of the new project you have to tell the location of an empty folder so remember empty folder your directory should not contain any of this any of the files which means that you create a new directory so let me therefore click here new new folder okay so new folder means new directory so i'll click this and it'll ask for what is the name by default it is showing something like new folder you delete it and uh, let me say that this is called paper 1 so i'll i'll write down like this p a p e r then hyphen 1 hyphen and all option okay paper 1 that's all it's a first uh, manuscript by that i mean to say that it is a research paper 1 and then press and enter so now the directory is created now don't enter inside this don't double click this but instead of that you select the folder that's all you click this select folder but don't double click you see what happens if i double click if i double click this nothing is there here but you can't select now because there is nothing is there to select so this is wrong so therefore go back to desktop and now you have the empty folder which is created after this you click the select folder so this is what you have to do for the first time 
now afterwards what happens is you can manage by copying that one uh, for next next papers etc so for the beginning for the first time you have to do this you create a new folder called paper 1 and assume that that is a paper that you are going to create especially for journal submission only so right now the explanation that i am going to give or the this particular software is primarily meant for journal publication if you have something different for the time being like phd thesis i have not completed that job yet so right now it is only for paper submission to the journals so that point let me make it clear and then let us click this select folder then what happens is automatically uh, something some uh, what you call the scratch data is already entered into picture from here you can start working so this is this is how quickly you can start working instead of learning the latex software itself uh, let let us uh, go in detail let me explain one by one this is the first menu you will be getting so don't click okay before reading it so okay so this is not the usually uh, some message will come and then without reading you close the message you know that is the usual tradition but don't do that because some important information will be displayed here so let me read and show what is there so a new manuscript project has been created and here what is the information is this particular new manuscript has a sample content so something is there for a sample you delete the sample and you now insert whatever you want to do for your project that is the meaning okay some sample is inserted here for convenience first point second point is fill the authors and the title of the manuscript so there will be an easy way to fill the authors and manuscript you don't require any knowledge about the backslash command no command is required it will ask what is your name it will ask where is uh, what is your affiliation it will ask what is your email that's all you fill it and then put okay that that we will do now there's a second point third point is replace the sample paragraph with your own that means this paragraph uh, which you are going to see here that part you can delete and bring your paragraph and insert that's all the job is over and you can always copy paste from your existing editor so you are already familiar with some editor right whatever editor you are already using from that editor copy that and paste here and the job is over and once you finish abc if you completed this abc you are ready to compile as a as a pdf file and that's what we are going to see you click okay now so the moment you click okay now it has disappeared and since it is asking for the author and the title of the manuscript you have to first of all fill that you cannot type anything in the above this as you can see that this is the top portion section introduction and if you go below something is there next section comes etc and there is nothing like a title of the paper title of the paper is missing abstract is missing and then the author name is missing so it is not missing actually but it is not visible in the top of the screen therefore you go to this particular menu here see in this menu you can now see uh, many options the first option is the manuscript title and authors so that option you click so if you click this now it is showing what is the title of the manuscript so put the title of the manuscript here this is the affiliation where the author one affiliation one means uh, you can have up to six affiliations uh, for uh, uh, for your research work uh, here i would like to make one more point uh, if there are uh, if there are people working in let us say 23 different institutes and if there are say 11 authors are there then directly you cannot enter into this this particular uh, uh, this particular interface so those situations are some special situations too many authors too many affiliations they are generally not many of us are there but this particular software i am making for for majority of the users where six affiliation is more than enough and six authors are more than enough that is the situation we can always extend it extending is not a big thing but the i have made it for six and six which i believe that is enough for majority of the people you if you really want to insert more number of things still there is an option is there but right now i will not enter into that topic okay so for the time being six affiliation six others so here we have uh, you simply enter uh, simply type it no no need of any special command simply enter and then this is the first author author one means first author author two means second author and then here is the important thing here you can choose uh, this here you see author one paramananda padi is there he belongs to which institute that's the meaning you can select any of them which is listed above 
so he can belong to either 1 2 3 etc that is why the order 1 2 3 is not important here you can select so now i am saying that uh, the first person belongs to the affiliation 1 and then the second author is also be is belonging to the uh, let us say it belongs to the second uh, affiliation i mean the second institution and then you can insert the uh, you can always insert the email address the email address of the corresponding author is compulsory that is why i have kept here choose the corresponding author so who will be the corresponding author for this research uh, work you can choose any one of the six people so now i am choosing the second author will be this uh, person so once you finish this you just insert the okay which means that once again here in the top nothing is visible but the data is taken care already da data is there inside the system now that's all your job is over in practice uh, all the requirements are uh, over and now you can compile for compiling this is the menu you can use uh, you can use let me take some 10 seconds to read them you see here compile the springer format which means springer journal compile for the revtech format for american physical society or american institute of physics you don't have to do anything only you have to click that then automatically that journal format will come so that is the main reason i already told you that the primary purpose of the intelligent latex editor is to quickly generate the journal format without struggling with the latex commands that's the primary reason so now we will see that in action now uh, compile in the elsewhere journal format that is also possible if you don't want to have any particular uh, any particular publisher i want to just create a manuscript without reference to a particular journal that then, then you have to choose this option compile the standard latex format standard latex format means it doesn't follow any of these publishers style it will be a simple uh, simple uh, publication on an a4 straight uh, on the a4 paper with a single column okay that is the meaning and let me explain uh, the other things in another five minutes okay let us now assume we will make a simple assumption that you are going to submit it for physical review journal which means APS so you have to press an F10 either you press F10 command from the keyboard or you click here using manually I will now click now uh, using the mouse I am clicking F10 here so once you click you can see the progress here in the green color progress bar will will go further and you can see that the progress is um, happening and once the compilation is completed you will be seeing the pdf document so it's over right so 99 yeah it's 100 percent now it is opening a pdf and now it has come as you can see now you can see the title of the manuscript and the authors maybe if you want i will enlarge i'll slightly enlarge so that you can see this yes now the title of the manuscript is there authors are there abstract is there abstract is there inside you can always edit it i'll show you then once abstract is over it is using the two column format as yes, you can see that it is this is the style of the physical review journal as you see we did not worry about what is the uh, revtex uh, format how to uh, how to prepare manuscript according to you, you did not worry anything about that but but the output has come nicely and this is i am showing this with a sample paragraph like this you can always delete and put your your uh, your information and then automatically it will get compiled i am showing only one example equation so that you can delete and start using it so you only need a starting point once you have a starting point the rest of the thing is only uh, following the similar thing for the next equations that is the thing and the third section something comes here and then i am giving the demonstration with an example of one figure like this and then another figure here so two figures are there and one table is there so this is how you start with now what all you have to do is you have to go to the uh, you you can close if you want you can close or need not close not a problem uh, you can go back to this original place which is the place where you work and then delete it and insert what you want okay so these are this is the place where figures are coming so in particular you will be more interested in inserting a figure and inserting equation this is the place where uh, most of the people uh, get into some trouble or get into some difficulty those who have, uh, those who are familiar with them they start typing it but i am going to explain you how easy it is 
to use this particular software when compared to the other software. That is exactly the purpose now. Let me therefore insert one equation at the end of this, at the end of this particular paragraph or if you, if you want me to delete this, I will delete this paragraph for you because that will be better. Right? You, you are not going to use this paragraph. So I will delete the entire thing. Now you have an empty place. Now you can type whatever you like. Okay. So start typing here. That's all. You, you will get a paragraph. That's fine. Now I will tell you how to insert an equation which is very simple. Let me, let me show that. The equation of straight line is is I want to type y equal to mx plus c. Okay, for that what you do is, now this is the place where you have to listen, I mean uh, pay your attention. So how to type the equation is, you have to press the equal to symbol in the keyboard. So everything is based on keyboard, therefore you have to be careful. Press an equal to sign, e press the equal to sign in the keyboard, then you will be getting automatically the dollars. You see I am pressing equal to sign. That's all double dollar has come you should not press double dollar in your keyboard this is the place where intelligent latex editor is different from other editors so now you have pressed only equal to sign double dollar will automatically come and now you start typing y equal to mx plus c so let me now st start typing it y then equal to then mx plus mx then plus C. That's all over. The, so afterwards you can come outside the dollar and then put the full stop. So the equation of the straight line is this. So this is fine, right? Now I want to type another equation with an equation number. Now this, this particular equation will not come with a number. Let me therefore show that how it works. Before entering into the command, let you have to note here that can you see some kind of a red color highlighting here? You can see the red color highlighting in the file name. Your file name is there c colon then slash user slash your username desktop. Okay. So if I am going to put the compile which is F10. F10 is the thing which you are going to use for the uh, APS journal. If I click this you have to now uh, pay your attention and see how the red color background will change to green color. So I am pressing it. Now it has come to green color which means the file is automatically saved. If you want, you can save it using Control S. Control S you can always use, but even if you forget it and if you press F10, automatically F10 will first do the saving of the file and then it will compile. And now it has come here. Now you can see, let us uh, expand this. The equation of the straight line is y equal to mx plus c, which means that this goes like along with a paragraph. This is called inline equation. Inline equation means the equation will run like a paragraph itself. Okay, so if you don't want this, but instead I want to have an equation number like this, then you have to do a very simple thing. Let us see what is the another model. So let us continue this. Okay, the let me continue this. The equation of of a parabola is now. Now I want to type the equation, but I want to have an equation number for that. Now what you do is, this is the place where you have to pay attention. Now I am going to press dollar. Dollar should be pressed in the keyboard. Okay, shall I press now? Yeah, that's all. So only one key, I am pressing only dollar. But you see how many things have come. Backslash begin line has come. Backslash label of some number has come. It has given some empty line. Afterwards backslash end align has come. So what is the meaning? So please understand what is the meaning backslash 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Like this so many characters have come. That means what is the meaning? The meaning is you don't have to type 100 keyboard. In the keyboard you have to type 100, 100 letters. Backslash is 1. B is 1. B, E, G, I, N. So you have to type so many letters in the keyboard. Now you don't have to do anything. You have to press only a single dollar. If you press a single dollar, all these things will come for free. Okay, that means it has come for you. That's the meaning. And some equation number is there that you don't have to worry. It can be any number. You don't go and change that. Simply forget about that. There will be an equation number that is going to be the number which you can refer. Okay. Now it has come. Now I want to type the equation the parabola. Okay. So let us type that. Y square. Square means you have to press the caret. 
you press the caret in the keyboard so this is the caret automatically brackets have come for you so y square you have to type 2 only so this is y square then come out of the bracket press equal to i am pressing only one key which is equal to but in the screen you are seeing two characters there is an and here after that there is an equal to is also there and some spaces also come for you all these things came if you press only one uh, only one key so okay y square equal to 4ax put a 4 then a then x and that's all over so now uh, you have finished typing the equation and let us compile by pressing the keyboard f10 now i will not use the mouse simply press the keyboard f10 so f10 i am pressing and that's all uh, now you can see the progress uh, and once the progress is over you can you will get back the the pdf file so here you can see the equation and with a number one has come so for one more equation you type only dollar okay only single dollar you have to press i am pressing a single dollar okay over so which means that now you can see another equation number has come forget about number let it be there don't delete also we need it so don't delete that number let it be there and you have to only type whatever equation you want okay so in that way you can quickly typeset without struggling for commands so let me write down dy by dx you know that dy by dx is the slope so i want to type dy by dx you see how easy it is to type you have to press only the slash slash means it is a, it is the meaning is divi dividing isn't it in the keyboard you type the slash that's the only one key that's all so now you see if i am going to put a slash which means that it is a fraction so the all the command has come so uh, whether you know the command or you don't know the command there is nothing to worry it has come and what is clear is that the fraction should be what is the meaning of fraction something divided by something so the numerator is the place where you have to type so i will type the numerator the numerator is dy then denominator is the next bracket so dx that's all so this is the this is the meaning of dy by dx and you see quickly you can uh, do this kind of job so i am opening a bracket in the keyboard only one one key so i pressed it now you can see that uh, they automatically all the commands has come so that you have the bracket ready okay so if you type the uh, simple bracket in the usual editor you won't get a proper bracket so let us let me explain now you have to type backslash l e f t so now did you get the ad advantage backslash l e f t five characters are there backslash r i g h t six characters are there so six plus five eleven eleven characters you did not type in the keyboard so this is how you are able to comfortably type equations without struggling first thing is you have to type 11 characters second thing is you should know what to type isn't it and third thing is while typing some mistakes will come so you have to press the backslash key and then correct it so uh, now you can slowly feel the advantage that uh, somehow you can uh, typeset the manuscript in a comfortable way when compared to what can be done with the standard editors so this is the point i would like to explain um, many other features with some example but for the this being the first tutorial i would like to explain to the minimum so that you can at least open the document and then feel comfortable then in the in the, in the next lecture or in the next uh, uh, tutorial i will make more detailed uh, uh, topics on what can be done with this equation but before closing let us complete this I have opened a bracket and then closed the bracket. I want to say something like x by y whole square. So how to put x by y whole square? x by y is a fraction. So put a slash. Slash means fraction. Only one key. I am going to press only one key. Slash. That's all. All these things have come. Then what you have to do? I want to type x by y whole square. So x is in the numerator. So I am, I am pressing x for the numerator. And come to the next bracket and type y so that is your x by y so now x by y is over and then you have the left bracket right bracket so come outside how will you come outside you have to press the right arrow uh, in the keyboard you have the right arrow right that arrow you press and then come outside now you have come outside and then to the power 2 so to the power you have to use caret caret means you know shift 6 shift and then uh, the number 6 that is called caret so if you press that power comes now once the power comes you can type whatever power you like 
if you want 100 also you can type 2 also you can write so let me therefore show a simple situation where i will type 12 so that means dy by dx equal to x by y to the power 12 that's what is this equation and let us compile this by pressing f10 so f10 i am going to hit now in the keyboard and you can see that the color has changed to green and you can see the progress indicator and if your computer is fast it can do faster see this this particular speed depends on your cpu okay if your cpu is something like 4 gigahertz and uh, faster than that it can do okay now now what you are able to see is dy by dx equal to x by y uh, whole to the power 12 so now i am giving this example because you have to pay attention to the bracket size it's not a small bracket right it's a little bigger bracket for the for the bigger bracket you have to type that command backslash l e f t etc in a standard editor you have to type all these things by yourself so uh, in the standard editor you have to type everything so you have to count how many letters are there that is what i mean to say see here uh, you can see how many there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 all the characters you have to type whereas in this editor you typed very minimal so this is the point that i would like to explain and the second thing is the second important thing before closing this particular tutorial is we can quickly convert this format to elsewhere suppose uh, i change my mind that i will not submit to um, uh, physical review or something like that i want to submit to some elsewhere journal then you don't have to do anything to your latex document you don't have to do anything absolutely you have to only compile using f11 instead of hitting f10 you have to hit f11 in your keyboard that's the only thing you have to do see here you are going to hit the f11 we have not done any change to the uh, manuscript at all but what is interestingly you see the output the output will be now formatted for the elsevier journal submission so this is very important in the standard latex editor you cannot do this so now you let us see the overall appearance so this is the overall appearance this is quite different from the physical review in the physical review you have roman letter one two three now you have the standard one two three now you see the abstract has come to the left side it did not come in the case of the physical review and now you see this now here this is the place so, and at the bottom you see preprint submitted to elsevier email addresses come this did not come this did not come in the physical review uh, format here you see the date it has come so these are the style this is what is known as the style file corresponding to the uh, corresponding to the journal so now quickly what happened is by hitting f11 we have now created the document which is ready to be submitted to the elsewhere suppose if you don't want to submit to elsewhere and if you want to submit to springer you have to hit f6 that's all you have to do you don't have to do anything no change at all to the document now i have pressed the, the uh, f6 now the the appearance appearance is what is known as the style that is called a latex style file latex style file is called dot sty right that is styling means uh, in different style the, the the document is going to look it gives you an appearance now you see that the title you see you can see that this is the journal that uh, we are going to submit okay this will be automatically entering once you say uh, the name of the journal you have to type so that detail is there already inside that's why it is coming here and then you see how the style of the authors have come in a different style and you can see received and accepted date here abstract is in now here earlier you see abstract was occupying the full width from from the left margin here to the right margin there uh, the entire width was used by the abstract but now uh, somehow uh, springer springer wants the abstract to be on the one column only so it is coming to the one side of the column not the entire width and other things are uh, similar but this structure is now looking quite different the affiliation has come to the uh, to, it has come here as a footnote so that is how the springer is doing so there is nothing you have to do that is my conclusion that what i want to tell you is uh, that the styling is completely handled by the journal and this particular software and most importantly i, I did not go into the detail but most importantly at least you uh, pay the attention and see that the style of their reference is very different from the style of the reference in the APS and the Elsevier format but you did not change anything okay everyone knows that the style is different that is not a big thing what is important is 
I did not change the style of the appearance of this italic where bold should come, whether the year should come here or here. I did not do anything, but it has put the years there automatically without changing anything in the document. So at least you see his where is the 16 is here, 1998 is in the last and then the journal name you see, journal name experimental and thermal fluid science. This journal name is not in italics. All these things are there, right? For the case of the Springer. For comparison, let me therefore uh, compile uh, the Elsevier, for example, because you did not see that. Without changing anything to the references, we did not do anything. But even then, it is automatically changing. So that is the work it is doing behind the scene. And this cannot be done by the standard uh, standard editor unless you have to do manually if you do if you do yes that's possible now you see now what is the big difference you see the big difference is the year 1998 is, is here and the page number has come here 92 to 99 but how this has changed it has it is changed it is doing this job in the background okay these are the additional job uh, done by the uh, done by the intelligent latex software and therefore you are able to generate quickly and your manuscripts are ready, uh, which means that you can submit a particular, uh, uh, you can finish the manuscript preparation uh, as quickly as possible when compared to using other standard editors. So this is the minimal requirement. This is the minimal uh, introduction that I would like to tell for the case of this software. There are more details are there for while typing the equation what you have to do some some of the commands simple thing command means not a big thing uh, like a single stroke i i said right only you have to press a slash only you have to press a dollar like that a single key you have to press so what is that single key you have to press so that list if you have it will be quite comfortable similarly how to insert a figure how quickly you can insert that is the second thing and third thing is how to use this number there is a three here suppose i want to use the three here uh, uh, refer to equation 3 like that I want to write here then how to do so some of these things and uh, uh, especially uh, references dealing with references these details are there you can do inserting the references very easily when compared to other editors this is very important thing so I would like to I would like to make uh, another video explaining all these things if you if you people are more interested if more people are interested probably i'll make another another uh, tutorial uh, going into further details on references how to insert uh, uh, graphs like this how to convert a one column graph to full width graph full width graph means the entire page will be uh, taken by this particular figure so that conversion everything is remember conversion means uh, not a big thing only one letter you have to in your keyboard you have to press only one uh, only one character and that's all you will get a full width uh, diagram okay you can do whatever i am telling you can do in the standard standard editors but for that you have to struggle and change the command many many things okay but here you are going to press a single single key in the keyboard and things will change similarly inserting a figure just you have to press a small uh, a small keyword then a new figure will be generated similarly inserting a table so these things i will cover it in the second or the next uh, uh, next tutorial if many of you are interested